Today is gonna be a much more raw video than I have been putting out recently, but I pretty much wanna go over the age old question of which no code platform should I build on bubble or flutterflow so today we're pretty much going to go over the pros and cons of each and then use cases of where you would want to use each one of them so i just want to start by saying i love both platforms and i build on both platforms but there is specific times where you want to use one versus the other so that's what we're going to go over today for anyone who doesn't know my name is chris anderson and i have a no code software development agency that helps entrepreneurs build SaaS companies faster and cheaper than ever before so this is what we're looking at today and if you want the document go ahead and click the link in the description and I can send this to you so that you can look through it yourself. So pros and cons of Bubble. It has a huge library of plugins and templates so it makes it super fast to build because you don't really have to have to like integrate many things together. Um, it's got really good SEO features for web applications. Um, tons of native integrations so Z Zapier, Make.com, Google, Instagram. So if you want to have your users log in with Google or log in with their Instagram account it's super easy to integrate that because there's, there's already plugins inside of Bubble for that. And then with Bubble there's also tons of content out there so if you have any question you can pretty much just look it up and it's going to be there on how to do that inside of Bubble. Some cons with Bubble is you can't export the code and that can be fixed with Xano as the back end, um, but you're still only exporting the code of the back end and not really the front end. So that is an issue if you, if you eventually want to go to code. Um, it's a little bit harder to navigate out of Bubble. Um, but the, the, the other side of that is Bubble, you can pretty much stay in there and scale it to the moon. That, that's the good thing about Bubble is you don't need to go to full stack code. Um, but if you do want to go to full stack code, then it is a bit harder because you have to rebuild the front end. The other con about Bubble is if you're trying to build it yourself, then there's a bit of a steep learning curve. I guess both of these points go to the steep learning curve, um, but it's pretty much full blown programming. It's not using code, but it's it's just visual programming. Um, so there's there's definitely a bit of a learning curve to Bubble. But yeah, if you want to build it yourself and you have the time to learn, then Bubble is is what we usually use most of the time. Now, some pros and cons of Flutterflow. So Flutterflow is super easy. Sorry, I should have put this here. Another con of um, Bubble is it's hard to launch a mobile app, which is where Flutterflow really shines because you can build mobile apps internally and launch them within the Flutterflow um, organization. You can send push notifications and all of that just using Flutterflow. You don't really need any any plugins or anything and you can launch it to the App Store and the um, the Android Store just from Flutterflow. So that is something super good about Flutterflow is super easy to, to launch mobile apps internally. The other thing about it is you can export clean code so that if you want to, to transition your Flutterflow into full stack you can get your front end's code and transition it that way. It's also quite a bit more inexpensive than Bubble. The plans are, are like about two times less expensive than, than Bubble's. Um, so if you're going to be scaling this pretty pretty hard, this can definitely be less expensive on, on the um, maintenance side. And then they've also got some super good animations and transitions just to um, kind of help out with the user experience. Some cons is they don't have nearly as many plugins, templates, or integrations as Bubble does. Um, and there's also not as much, I'll add this here, there's not as much content out there as there is in Bubble about how to build things in Flutterflow. But if you can build in Bubble, then you can pretty much build in Flutterflow because um, Flutterflow is easier to use than Bubble. But that's, that's the main two downsides of Flutterflow is just the integrations and um, not as much content out there on how, how to do certain things. So now we're going to go over the use cases of when you would want to use each one, when you would want to use Bubble versus when you would want to use Flutterflow. So Bubble, when we use Bubble, it's pretty much always when we're doing a, a SaaS, like a B2B web application. So an example would be like Instantly. Instantly, if you've used it before, it's pretty much a, um, a web app that allows you to send cold emails much cheaper than, than any other platform. Um, and that's really where Bubble shines is if you're building a, a web application like that, that's going specifically for like B2B companies. So business to business. Um, and then also when SEO is extremely important for your business, which a lot of times is usually with B2B web apps, um, just because Bubble has, has more options for 
really nailing down that SEO. And then when you want to have integrations into other apps like Instagram, the Google Suite, whatever it is that you want to integrate, um, Bubble has much more integrations right there. And then when you would want to use Flutterflow is usually B2C applications. So mobile is a much more common need inside of a, a business to consumer product versus a business to business product. Obviously, if you have like contractors or something, they want a mobile app usually, but for the most part, B2B software companies can usually stay on a mobile app, but business to consumer is a little bit different because most consumers want to be using a mobile app. So that's where it really shines is, is B2C and mobile apps. Um, and then also if you want to export clean code eventually. So if you know you, you, you for sure want to go to full stack eventually, 100% um, Flutterflow is, is easier to transition. Um, the thing about Bubble is it's it's harder tr to transition, but a lot of times you don't have to transition because you can kind of keep it in the Bubble ecosystem and scale it that way. So I hope you guys learned something in this video really quick about which one you should be using, um, whether it's Bubble or Flutterflow for building your app with no code. And once again, if you want me to send you this document, then go ahead and just click the link in the description and I'll send it over to you.